You don't know when you get married. People say, till death do you part. I don't think so. It's till debt do you part. And M just doesn't stand for marriage. It also stands for money. And so many times, the person who makes the most money is the one that they feel has the most power. Money doesn't determine if you're the most powerful or not. Hi, everybody. Susie Orman here, better known as the world's personal finance expert. Many people like to call me the money lady. I've been with KT for over 20 years. How many joint accounts do we have? Let me see if I can remember. None. We don't have one joint account. She has her money. I have my money. There's obviously our real estate we own jointly, and it works just fine. You all should be autonomous human beings. You've come into this relationship as an autonomous human being. You have to have money of your own. The last thing you want to do is to have to ask permission. You might have a joint account for joint expenses, but then you each need your own individual account. Let's just say you move in together and your partner or spouse is making $7,000 a month take home. You're bringing home $3,000 a month take home, but yet your joint expenses are $3,000 a month. Most people would say, well, let's just split it. But $1,500 a month for you is 50% of what you're bringing in versus maybe 25% of what your partner or spouse is bringing in. That's not how you're going to do it. This is what I want you to do. You have the 7,000 and the 3,000, that's $10,000. And you divide that into your household expenses, your joint expenses, 3,000. That's like 30%. Therefore, 30% of your $3,000 a month take home or $900 goes into your account. 30% of the $7,000 take home, $2,100 a month goes into the account. That's $3,000. Equal percentages, but not equal amounts of money. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.